Okay, hi, hello, assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. Okay, so today we will continue our 8.4, which is refraction of light. Okay, we are still in uh, chapter 8, okay, which is subtopic 8.4, refraction of light. Okay, so we already, already learned about the 8.3, which is reflection of light. Okay, so you have learned about the new term, which is we call law of reflection. Okay, so there is five uh, terms of law of reflection, which is number one, incident rays. Okay, number two uh, is reflect, reflected rays. Number three, normal line. Okay, number four, angle of incident and number five, angle of reflection. Okay, and okay, so light reflected obeys the law of reflection, which is there is two law of reflection. You have learned about these two uh, type of laws of reflection, which is number one, the incident ray, normal line and also reflected ray, rays uh, all lie in the same plane. Okay, that is number one. And number two, the angle of incidence is, is equal to the angle of the reflection. Okay, so today we will cover 8.4, which is refraction of light. Okay, so from this subtopic, a student is able to generalize the refraction occurs when light moves through a medium of different densities. Okay, so the main point here is the different densities. Okay, number two, draw a ray diagram to show refraction of light when light propagates from one medium to another medium of different densities. Number three, generalize in re the relationship between the angle of incident and angle of reflection, re refraction when light travels from a medium of low density to a medium of high density. Okay, and number four, justify the application of refraction of light in daily life. Okay, so let us go to our first slide. Okay, refraction of light. Okay, maybe teacher should change the what the pronunciation to the British one, refraction of light. Okay, so the refraction of light is the change in the direction of light and the bending of light when it passes through two medium of different densities. Okay, so you can see here different densities. Okay, you can see the um, slide there. Okay, so the bending of the light ray. Okay, from air to water. Okay, which is the different densities. Okay, there is two medium with the different densities. Okay. So, the example of refraction of light here, okay, so you can see in the deep pond, it appears to be shallower, okay, and also fish appears to be more closer, okay, so a pool appears shallower than its actual depth, okay, so you can see that. And also, another example is a pencil appears bent in a glass of water okay it look bent in a glass of water okay next okay so medium is any substance that light passes through such as air water and glass okay so when light travels from one transference medium to another at an angle it will bend this effects is called refraction okay so a refraction of light is due to the change in the speed of light when the light ray travels from one medium to another medium of different density as we can see here from air to water and light bends to a normal line when it travels from air to water so light travels slower in a denser medium and travel faster in a less dense medium okay okay so light bends away from normal line when it travels from water to air which is from water is slower and it will become faster okay uh, here at in the air okay so you can see the difference there okay the change in the speed of light caused the change in the travel direction of light 
This is refraction of light. Okay, next. Another example which is with the two diff different uh, medium, which is air and also glass. Okay, a fish in a river will look as if it is closer in the water due to refraction too. How should you do so that you can catch the fish? Hmm. Okay, so you cannot, uh, what, uh, you must change. Okay, you must change your focus. Okay, not follow your eyes seeing. Okay, so by using the concept of the refraction of light. Okay, so refer here. Okay, so you can see here, we also, uh, also have experiment 8.2, which is refraction. Okay, so the occurrences of light refraction. When light travels from one medium to another medium along or parallel to the normal, it travels straight without bending or refracting, although there is a change in speed. Okay, even though there is a change of speed, Okay, it travels straight. Okay, it will travel straight. When light travels from air, which is less denser medium, okay, you can see here, when light travels from the air, which is less denser medium, to glass, which is denser medium, at an angle, the light ray slows down. Okay, it will reduce the speed. Okay, and the light ray bend towards the normal. Okay, which is the angle I is more than angle R. Okay, when light travel from glass, which is denser medium, to air, which is less dense medium, at an angle, the light ray bends away from the normal, which is, you can see there, the angle R is smaller than, sorry, the angle R is smaller than I. Okay, so here, we can see here, this is the occurrences of light refraction. All right, so. Refraction of light in our daily life, okay? So, example number one, you can see the swimming pool appears to be shallower, okay? When we look into a swimming pool, it appears to be shallower than its actual depth, okay? So, this is due to the light rays from the bottom of the swimming pool are refracted away from the normal when the passing from the denser medium to the less medium, the less dense medium. Again, okay, the depth which is viewed from the top is known as apparent depth. Okay, so the apparent depth is less than actual depth. Okay, so that's why we can see the swimming pool is shallower. Okay, same with the concept of the, uh, like the deep pond. Okay, and also the fish. You can see the fish clearly. Okay, it's look bigger. All right. And next is a pencil appear band. This one is a normal concept of the refraction, which is a pencil appears band in water. Okay, when a pencil is partially dip into the water, the pencil is appeared bent because light is refracted away from normal when it travels from a denser medium, which is water, as we learn that, uh, as you, we learn that uh, water is denser than air. Okay, so from a denser medium, which is water, to less dense medium, which is air. So that is the concept of the refraction of light. Okay, so teacher will show you how you want to understand, more understand about this concept letter. Okay, so that's all for today. Take care, stay safe, stay healthy and stay at home. Travelling along a road surface, then reaching a patch of sand. 
Just like the light wave, the car slows down as it reaches a different material. But now, imagine the car reaches the sand at an angle. As the first wheel reaches the sand, it slows down. But for a short period of time, the other wheels continue at a faster speed. Because the wheel on one side is going slower, the whole car turns slightly. Once the whole car is on the sand, it continues in a straight line, but not the same straight line that it was travelling on along the road. Light rays work in the same way. If light rays are moving through air and reach a different material at an angle, they'll change direction slightly. This is a ray box that we often use for light experiments. And this cover lets us beam a narrow ray of light from the bulb. If I aim the beam at the plastic block at an angle and turn the other lights in the room off, you can see the light beam is bent as it enters the plastic and again as it exits. This happens just like the car reaching the sand. The speed of the light ray decreases as it reaches the plastic block, but then speeds up again as it exits the block. This bending of light is known as refraction. We